uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so we are doing the firebase integration with our code okay so what i did is i created this firebase.js and we are writing next js application so what you need to have is you need to create a .env.local file or .env file so whenever you do the npm run dev it actually creates a next js build and it will pick all these process environment variable from env.local okay same thing you can create this and these are the firebase configurations and in the firebase.js we are picking up all these configurations from the process.env another important thing is around this firebase import because yes it, it may trouble you right so what you need to do is you import everything as a firebase and then do the default otherwise uh, so in some code you will see firebase.initialize app no we are importing everything in the firebase and then doing dot default dot initialize app dot default dot auth once we get the auth from here now we just need to do auth dot so there are different methods available right auth dot here you can see the fetch uh, sign in method for email and password create user with email and password confirm password reset right all these methods we are going to use and that will help us to do the sign in and the sign up uh, initially we will just design it with the registrations and I mean sign up and sign in so there is a login drawer component we had and whenever you are actually clicking on the submit button this handle submit we were actually doing auth.sign in with email and password right similarly there is a registration drawer and uh, here also we have this handle submit button we can imp we have already imported auth so we will just use the same method auth dot here we can use i think create user with email and password we can pass email uh, password i mean we can use the same uh, same method which we have used here only the method name has changed right and we can have one error so this is our registration drawer and we just replace this part we are passing email and password we can have one error column set error okay this is how we are doing create user and the sign in we don't we didn't create any uh, user authentication system we are using just a firebase and we are using only email and password i mean we are taking phone number and name and all, all the other things also but we are not using them now uh, we can do what we can do is uh, we can just test this feature right how it is working so after this so now we actually baseline the authentication system and all so let's uh, let me populate the correct credentials so we have those things in env so what you need to do is npm run dev okay make sure your configuration for the firebase is correct because we are reading this firebase config project id domain keys and all and you should be able to do the login and a registration okay now important part is we have created the context provider on top of it so that is a higher order component i created this user context and here we are checking the auth state right this is the auth coming from the firebase and whenever the auth state is changed we will set the user to the user auth whatever we are getting so you are actually doing a registration or login this auth state will change and you will get the user data that user data we are setting on that state and we are actually providing this context i mean we are passing that in the context provider and we are using this provider in our main page if you see we have added this user provider after apollo provider right this is a simple Apollo provider and you I mean you can do the nesting of these providers and your app component is nothing but all the pages you are rendering so all the children components can consume the user data from this okay now next thing I think from the next video onwards we can start writing uh, the GraphQL interface and the database design for this application okay uh, thanks everyone